When it comes to a bad rap, owls have been through a lot. They've been seen as everything from an omen of death to magic. But these fascinating birds are important to our environment. To tell us more, we're joined by naturalist Kathy Driscoll with The Nature Zone. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thanks, Emily. Appreciate it. Well, you know, owls are really popular again. The Harry Potter books and the movies, you know, it, they've made them cool again. But they weren't always seen as cool, were they? No, ma mainly because they're misunderstood creatures. They're out at night when we're not. And a lot of times we hear them more than we see them. And mm -hmm. it can be kind of spooky in the dark hearing strange calls and sounds. And, and no offense, they are kind of spooky looking. Well, I mean, if you think about it, they are the predators, and so mm -hmm. at night, it's best to be kind of hidden, so they, they kind of blend in with their environment. So yeah, they are kind of spooky looking. And plus, they do the whole neck thing, don't they? Oh, beautiful adaptations for a perfect predator, because they can turn their head almost all the way around. Mm -hmm. They also have really, really large eyes. About 15% of their body weight are in their eyes. So even Whoa. though, I know, it's crazy. <laughs> they can see so well uh -huh. on, you know, on a dark, moonless night. It's like a cloudy day to them. But they're famous for their um, ears. So when you think of like the Harry Potter movies and you see the ear tufts, off of the owls, so those people think people think that that's the ears from the owls. Well, technically, their ears are asymmetrical in their faces, so they can oh, really pinpoint the sound of a poor, defenseless, nocturnal, I don't know, mouse mm -hmm. creature, and then they swoop down on silent wings. Oh. So they are very mysterious animals, and they're actually pretty popular around among farmers, aren't they? You were kind oh, of mentioning yes. that to me before. Right, owls are. Um, you know, just fascinating animals all around, but they are really um, a good, um, you know, advantage for farmers because one of the problems that farmers have are rodents. So, um, you know, barn owls are especially um, most famous among farmers because that's where they usually set up their nests are in barns. And so um, they're specially designed to run along the fields. Their legs are a little bit different than the other owls. They have like chicken legs, looks like. And so they run and fly and pick up their um, food and then they fly back off into the barn. I didn't even think of them running. Oh yeah, they are just really fascinating creatures. If you look at their faces, people think it looks like a cat face or a monkey face. Mm. But very scary is going into a barn and hearing their, their call because they have a hissing, they go mm. And so if you're not aware of a, an owl in a barn, that sound would run you right back out. Now, if somebody had like a rodent problem and they wanted to attract an owl, how do you do that? Well, glad that you asked. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're actually doing a program at the end of the month called Owl Moon Campfire. Oh, okay. And that's going to be at our new park, Ivy Creek Park. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a campfire and kind of discuss what campfires are all about and, you know, how the Native Americans would sit around campfires and tell stories. And there's wonderful stories about owls. And then we're going to do a demonstration on how to build an owl box. So oh, neat. you can build an owl box for the screech owl, which is the smallest owl um, that we have in Virginia. Or we have the largest, which is the great horned owl. I think that's probably the most famous. Neat. It's um, beautiful. Yeah, he is. He's very, he's like the biggest of all of the owls. And then mm -hmm. we have the bard and then, of course, the barn owl. So we will have a demonstration on how to build boxes for people. And is there any particular one you would want to attract, you know, or are they all just going to eat a bunch of mice for you? Well, knowing where they live is always important. Mm -hmm. Again, um, the, the, the barn owls are generally going to be in fields and barns, and, and a lot of times they're like old buildings that are dilapidated. Bard um, generally live around streams and water. Oh, okay. Um, most people shoot for the, the um, screech owl, and they are pretty abundant. They really do depend upon people. Once you build a box and you have one, it's important to take care of the box because they will come. Okay. And let's get that information out there. The Owl Moon Campfire. It sounds like fun and spookiness. <laughs> Friday, January 27th, uh, 6.30 to 9, ages 8 and up. If you want to call, 434-455-5878 to register. And the cost is $10 for Lynchburg families, 15 for otherwise.